Buckeye State Wells. October 8th, 2024, making my way to Edsonia, Ohio on the Indy Line. We're basically going to be seeing what we can see with my um, New York Central Twilights. They're still in service though, but if you can see the new signal base, that ain't mean the Twilights are going to be gone and the new signals are going to be replaced. So that's why we came all the way down to Edison, Ohio, just to see what we can catch on the B line and then see what we can catch along by these twilights. They're going away soon and the era is slowly coming to an end. Luckily we made it on time for I-08 and as soon as we get to the parking lot and get ready to shoot these signals again, L428 heading eastbound on the B line after working the yard in Ansonia, Ohio. After we get 428 here in Edsonia, Ohio, we make our way east for the Twitter sub. In the meanwhile, while we were on our way to Swanders, south of Anna and north of Sydney, we would get word from the radio that INO, Lima South, would be wanting southbound with a very interesting lash up. But while we were sitting at Swanders, we get word that they were by Jackson Center, and we just book it to Quincy. Luckily, they had a stop, and now we're able to get them southbound through Quincy, Ohio, but we end up doing a little chase with them. You lash up was very worth it, and we just got super lucky of it. This is a Dash 8 duo, the same duo that I saw back of July when I was chasing them north to Delta, but it doesn't have that BNSF Dash 9 with it. After we catch him here at downtown Quincy, we basically made our way south for another shot that we decided doing with this southbound INO train. Lima South. Once we were on the road, they went 10 miles per hour. They're supposed to go 10 miles per hour through the diamond. As soon as we get out of town, they were booking it, and I mean absolutely booking it southbound. Yeah, don't go up.
look at INO going south for Washington Courthouse, they turn into Washington Courthouse for Oakley. We decided to catch a westbound since I did see a westbound going west. But the thing is though, he had a stop for INO. After we catch him here at that crossing, we decided to go another crossing where we had 30 seconds to spare. After catching 313, either that or 331, we make our way to Swanders to basically see what we can find now because by the time that we had four southbounds on the Toledo. This one is 353 heading southbound for Cincinnati, had a flare Mac trailing. So it wasn't leading. I thought it was leading, but it wasn't. That was kind of cool seeing a player back tra trailing, of course. But anyway, what after we get that? I thought it would be like B852 or something like that. That was heading south the next one. But it, I would be end up being wrong. It would end up being another southbound that I didn't know about. That southbound, the southbound was unexpected to catch. It was ending up being 559 from Willard to basically Cincinnati, Ohio. Another Cincinnati manifest on the Toledo Tub. We're basically here at Slaunders now with the two signal arm. And basically we decided to, to catch the two here and then make our way south for, we thought we would make it to Troy today. We ended up did not make it to Troy, but we did end up making our way back to Quincy.
So basically, right after we caught the E852 from Middletown, that had a wine 2 liter. But basically, right after that one, we had E887 southbound from the Toledo that ended up having nothing but the Chiba leading. But it was kind of cool seeing a coal train. They've been running a lot of coal trains on the Toledo lately. Basically, after we catch this coal train, we got some to eat at Carver's and then basically went back to the tracks on the B-Line. We're in DeKrav, Ohio. This will be the last train here for the day because after we catch this one, we make our way home. Anyway, this is 332 for Columberland, Maryland, coming from Avon, Indiana, with a solo CM44AC rebuild. <laughs> Catching Iono, that was a fun day. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys really enjoyed it, I will come back down here once again during the fall colors, maybe. Or during the winter. But, I will see you guys in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Wells. <laughs>